This is going to prompt us for the plain text password and it says that it's auto encrypted and I'll show you that it that is indeed the case. So we'll do set user error and authentication. Follow that with plain text password and then hit enter. It's going to ask us for our new password so I'll go ahead and put in our password. It's going to ask us to retype it just to verify we have the correct password. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. So now if I go back to PuTTY and try to put in the password that I just created, you can see that it's still saying access denied. And this is because obviously if you're looking and you're watching, you're probably like, well, what are you doing? What I have to do is if I do a show pipe compare, you can see that I've put in all these commands but I haven't committed it yet so I'll, let's do a quick commit so that we can add these changes to our configuration and now if I go ahead and try to log in we can see that we are have successfully logged in to the device under the new user that we just created which is Aaron. Okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a, another user and we're going to give this user operation I'm sorry we're going to give this user operator permissions only and as we can see the operator it gives us a, a, a detailed or gives us a description of what the operators are allowed to do within the device and this is do clear network reset trace and view so what we're going to see is if we create an operator account user account correctly we should not be able to get into configuration mode so let's go ahead and try to do that next we're under edit system login already so let's go ahead and do we'll do set user we'll call this user Bob and we will give him the class of operator next thing we have to do once we define our user next thing we have to put in is the authentication we're going to use so set user Bob authentication is going to be plain text password so we'll go ahead and enter the password for Bob. And the last thing we're going to have to do is a quick commit. So if we configured this user correctly, we should only be able to have operator permissions when we log in with the Bob user account. So let's go ahead and try to do that real fast. Let me bring up Putty. Okay, now that I have Putty up, let's go ahead and go into the router, 192.168.1.1. And it's going to ask us for the login, who we want to log in as. We'll go ahead and put in Bob. And then we'll put Bob's password that we created. And now you can see that we're logged in as Bob. So if I do a question mark right off the bat, you can see that I do not have an option for configure. So if I go ahead and try to do edit, you can see it says unknown command. If I do configure, it does as well. So let me just show you the difference between the two. One of the main differences between the two accounts that we, ju we just created. We created the Bob account, which is operation. I'm sorry, operator. I keep saying operation. I apologize. We created Bob's account to be an operator account with limited access. He doesn't have access into configuration mode and we cre created the account the user account Aaron and we gave him super user access so he should have access to everything so let's bring up putty again and show you the difference we'll go into the router 192.168.1.1 actually let's get rid of I'm sorry about that if that was loud apologize 
Let's go under, this time we'll go under Aaron. Put in Aaron's password. And now we'll go ahead and if I do a question mark, you can see that I have the option for configure. So this is going to allow me to get into configuration mode as we can see. Same thing, edit. If I do edit, that brings us to configuration mode as well. So that's one of the biggest differences between the two user accounts. Aaron has super user access so he has all permissions as we can see via the description of the super user and then Bob we just made an operator one of the other things that we can do under the edit system login is if we do a set space question mark you can see that we have the password option so if we do set password space question mark you can see that we can define maximum length